Jay Nicholas and Chris Daughters, early caddis fly shop. We're going to shoot a whole series of videos on the squid roll fly. Uh, it's a fly uh, developed by Scott Howell. Uh, our thanks to Scott for thinking up this crazy thing. Um, what we're trying to do with this whole series of videos is help the average fly tire, which is like you and me, figure out how to tie this thing and, and work through the different steps um, and do it in less than a 30 minute video so it's less painful. So first of all, you you take a look at these things and, and, and you know, as a, as a tire, how do I get started? So, bear with me, this is, this is an experiment. The first thing you need is a shank. That's a piece of steel and it, it could be it could be a straight eye, it could be a turned up eye, you see how nice that is? Um, use my hand as an eraser here. Um, but this is the basis, now some folks will put a, oh, they'll use a hook and put the hook shank in the vise and when they're finished they'll cut that off. Um, so the point is, you've got a metal shank, and I'm going to go back to one shank here, and I'm going to make it a turned up eye. So you've got to have a way to hold this thing in a vise, and we have a solution for that, you'll see later. So the parts of this fly, the, the first thing is a butt section. And the, the function of this is to keep the rubber legs in the rear flayed out, splayed out, so they'll wiggle extra. The second thing you have is a piece of material that you're going to put in your your hook in. And this is a loop of what? Fire line, monofilament, uh, tieable bite wire, Dacron, could be any of those. But it's a loop and it is wound on with thread and cemented, circled back on itself. And you notice, you know, you could have this loop come out behind the butt, but uh, I, I prefer to have it come out ahead of the butt. Your shank, your butt, your loop for your hook. Now you've got some rubber legs in the back here. And the important thing is these, I should use a different, <laughs> different color, these need to be, they can be a little bit longer than this loop, but they don't want to be so long, if I can do this, they don't want to be this long, because if they are, they'll tangle in your hook. So let's grab another color here as we proceed. So the next thing, you're going to put because you have a big wad of funny looking rubber legs tied in here, you're going to put another um, wad, if you will, of dubbing. It can be the same color as this section, could be slightly different color. These flies are characterized by a fairly narrow, slim, slender, easy to sink tinsel body. So you wrap that on. Then, I'm going to show you how you tie it. You actually tie on your forward rubber legs. they got to be long, and you tie them on facing forward. What the heck are we doing that for? I'll show you. So you have some kind of rough looking butts of your rubber legs tied in there. We're going to spin on a dubbing there. And that's going to, it can be a bright color, it could be a dark color, but this dubbing is going to cover up the base of those rubber legs. And then as you very carefully, after you spin this part on, these rubber legs are all facing forward, you pull them back. You stroke them back and they'll go like this 
and you wind some dubbing on in front of this, just the tiniest bit. Then, you've got to put on some dumbbell eyes. So how do you do that? Because these things, I mean, they don't stay nice like that. They hang down like this, and they get in the way. So what you do, is you get yourself a pipe clean, a piece of pipe cleaner, like off a of fly line, and you pull these rubber legs back, and you wrap that pipe cleaner around this so that it stays out of the way. So then you tie on, and if this is a turned up eye, you flip this over, and you tie on your dumbbell right here, and then you put on, the last thing you do is you put on another, a nice wad of dubbing, it could be long, it could be, it could be marabou, it could be contrasting color, or it could be simply a nice little wad of something like ice dub or STS dubbing. You take your, uh, take your pipe cleaner off, and here you have the basic parts of your squid row. Stinger hook, uh, loop, butt section, uh, rubber legs in the rear, another piece of dubbing, silver or gold tinsel body, uh, a wad of dubbing there, covers up the rubber legs. Remember these are tied forward initially, they're folded back, they stand out, more dubbing, dumbbell eye, tie off in front, and you're done. Anatomy of a squid row.